Well, good afternoon folks, welcome back to Richo's Customs where today I'll be showing you the hectic, fully sick gauges that I put into it and the fat new meaty tyres on the dog. So, we're going to clean the thing up first so I can show you when it's not absolutely filthy. Look at it, the thing is absolutely disgusting. So, we're going to clean it, ready for the drag strips on Saturday and show you the lovely fat tyres that I got put on it that I briefly mentioned in the last video. So. I'm going to give her a quick wash, get all my dirty, greasy hair marks off the bonnet like that, and we are going to send it and get it ready for Saturday. Again, kind of, because you've already seen the video, but let's do it. She's all clean, look at it. Shiny boy. And the mage just goes quick white because it's a bit dirty after the last clean, look. But look at it, she's all clean. Right, so here's the fitment of the fat 235 40 inch trims. They look sick as. So these are Madison 235 60 14s on dragways 14 inch rims and they are pretty damn fat compared to stock ones and should give me a heap of grip but hopefully not too grip too much grip to break a bit but she looks pretty damn fat with these ones. A weapon. But yeah the fitment is actually on point. Look at that. That actually looks dope. So yeah these rims Look good, I painted them. A bit of tie shine on the dogs to make them look good. Yeehaw, cowboy. I also don't know why it took me so long to put gauges in this car. Like, gauges are like one of the most important things, I only just put them in. But, um, so the gauges I put in, I put three, well, technically four gauges in. We got a water temp, oil pressure, boost for when I boost it, and then we got air fuel ratio to tell me how fat she's running and I can tell you right now she's extremely fat this thing it can't it can't read fat enough but right here in the end we can see that right here is our water temp uh, down there little focus no it won't is the oil TPs down under the intake then we've got the air fuel ratio which is wide in there and then that's about it really Jump inside. Get the dogs out. Look at that. Got all the sickness. So um, these will be good. I was going to mount them there, but the sass wiring that comes with them are pretty trash, and they only enough to get me there. But anyways, it still looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Still got the taco. Can still see how the dash fine and sick lights make them look sick so I'll start up and show you what the gauges look like. Now I've got my fully hectic handbrake on. We can start the dog. Takes 
a bit of warm up once, but once it's up. new gauges that will be really helpful because most cars these days their gauges are actually pretty useless they just come up as a switch and stay there and only move if something bad happens so now I can fully monitor my temps pressures um, air fuel ratio but that one's just a guide because it's a narrow band so it's not 100% perfect but it's only $80 so I'm uh, not that rich yet so we're just going to run with these gauges boost it hook up the boost gauge and, and then we'll rip it with the supercharger when that's on but I'm pretty happy, looks good, and she runs mint now. So, we're gonna put it in. I've gotta put a new fire extinguisher bracket in, and then she is almost ready to load up and go drag racing on Saturday, which I will film. But, sweet! If it sounds sick inside. A decent fire extinguisher is a great investment for your fat little car because. If your car catches on fire, you feel so hopeless and you don't want to be that one guy that doesn't have a fire extinguisher, aka Zach Baldy, don't come at me, but it's true. He learned his lesson the hard way, so everyone, it's a great idea to make sure your fire extinguisher is charged up and ready to put out your shitty car when it's on fire. There we have it, Naughty is all cleaned up, ready for drag racing this Saturday, which you'll see on Richest Customs. I will make an epic video on that. And um, if you guys can guess how fast this will run, I will ship to your door three Richest Customs stickers. So if you guys guess the closest or spot on time this thing will run on a quarter mile, I will send you some stickers. So leave a comment below. I will um, tell you guys about this shout out on Saturday as well. But that's the mighty AU cleaned up. He's nice and clean, ready for Saturday. So, if you liked today's short little video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications so you can see this fat little rig go down the drag race. And we'll see you on Saturday. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.